Oh, I'm sorry. Are you napping? Okay, I'll put it back. Hope that was a good enough kitten for you, Internet. He usually ends up coming out whenever I wake him up, and I woke him up before I lifted up the cover by walking in and figuring out where he was. Kitties. Continuing some kitty nap time. Isin has decided to stay here with me. Well, not really with me. He was already here. I just happened to have walked in. But he prefers being pet like this. Um, he actually came upstairs while I was in the bathroom, apparently, because he was downstairs napping on top of a backpack. For some reason, my cats really like backpacks. And I happen to be upstairs anyway. Might as well go with the entire treatment and say hi to Bukini. Biggest cat bed ever, by the way. <laughs> this is actually my old mattress and bed. Ooh, I need to add more water to the water fountain. Really, I need to clean them, but I don't really want to do that right now. And be glad you don't have a sense of smell through the camera because Blue Kitty's litter box, always the smelliest thing in the house. Ugh. Most likely what it is is that the smells have permeated this, which means I need to wash them again. Since this, originally this was supposed to be a guest room, but since Boo Kitty kind of smells up the entire room, there's no way a guest can sleep in here. It's that bad. Oh. Okay. I decided to actually extend my tripod, the selfie stick that I use as a tripod, all the way up. And, well, let's just say that its height leaves a little to be desired. For reference, this is normal height. Oh well, I bought it as a selfie stick anyway, and I can still use it for other purposes as a tripod. So I decided to come out of the blanket. Mm-hmm. Well, I know for a fact that my viewers prefer to watch kitties, so I'm going to add more kitties to my videos. You're okay with that, right? The reason why I'm filming my kitties is that I'm not having the greatest of days. Um, today is Saturday the 24th. It's the day after the uh, day I was going to the eye exam. Um, for reference, my vision is exactly the way it was before, which is a little weird. Or exactly the way it was for my backup pair of glasses, which is weird. Because that's not actually trying to adjust the tripod. Um, which is actually not the way it was the last time I had a vision appointment. Which is a little interesting. So I have determined my IPD. Sorry for covering the camera. Uh, or PD, I should say. Or the or IPD is interpupillary distance. I keep covering the camera. Why is it so close? Um, so I can order glasses online. Unfortunately, my, as I mentioned last time, my optometrist doesn't do, or doesn't allow me to get the PD from them anymore. But they gave me an unofficial PD that I verified via other means. Oh, garage, hold on. My garage door makes a whole bunch of noise, and my bedroom, which is where I'm at right now, is directly above said garage, so that means that everything makes noise and vibrates. If I was living here longer, that would be on my list of things that would be replaced. I even briefly glanced when I was at Home Depot to see how much they would cost to replace, and went, wait, I'm not going to be living here more than a year anyway, what difference does it make? I've survived here eight years with the garage door opener, I can survive up to year nine, it's fine. Um, so, yeah. Anyway, I ordered those last night, but I'm not having a great day. Uh, best way to describe it is, well, I'm... I earmarked part of this day to figure out what I can do regarding the stupid movers problem. And I think I've basically boiled down to, I'm gonna need legal help. And I hate the idea of having to 
invoke a lawyer's name in order to be able to get what is rightfully mine, which is the stuff in the storage unit. I mean, it's not like I haven't been paying. I've paid the entire time. And at this point, I'm basically intending on reversing those charges because they are not providing the contracted service appropriately. But they have my mom's things held hostage. I don't really have a choice right now. Um, when I looked up on the Better Business Bureau, which for those of you outside the United States, the Better Business Bureau is a corporation that other corporations bribe in order to get good ratings. Um, when I looked them up on the Better Business Bureau website, they had, what was it, like 60 unique problems reported to the Better Business Bureau within the past 30 days. Uh, yeah, and they're all, and they're mostly things like, um, oh no, ah, I can't, hold on kitty, I'll give you more attention, but I need to move the camera down slightly more, there we go, now I can do that, and you can attack me like the vicious predator that you are, anyway, um, hey, hey, be gentle, thank you. Um, yeah, so all of those have been reports on their moving services, not on their storage services, so I actually don't know what's going on with that, and they still haven't responded to me. It's great. I um, was supposed to have the things moved out this coming Wednesday, and that's definitely not going to happen now. Um, and that's stressing me the hell out. I really don't want to deal with these things. This is not... If I was doing this for work, it would actually be a different story. And wow, this tri this tripod is so shaky. Like I'm not touching it and it's bouncing. Good news on it's okay. Um So yeah, I really don't want to deal with it. Which means that I'm starting to deal with avoidant behavior. And my brain keeps trying to do literally anything but what I want to do today. So I, I it is what? Uh, it is 13.30 at the moment, and I have accomplished zero things today. Awesome! This is how, show how ridiculous the selfie stick extends because it's really a tripod. For those times that you really need to get a wide angle shot. I haven't said it yet, but could get an internet. So that's a little better. Um, this is the same extension, but using my arm. Um, so one of the things I've been doing instead of the things that I wanted to do was I was re-going through my checklist on what am I keeping when I move? Uh, as many of you, as I've mentioned repeatedly, I am planning on moving to Norway next year, and I currently live in the United States. That's a really long distance, and it's very expensive to move things. So I'm trying to figure out what things I'm going to keep. Simple enough. Um, like, for instance, sort of see, clothes. I will be keeping the clothes that fit me. And maybe shoring up my wardrobe very slightly to balance things out. So, um, with my particular build and how heavy set I am. Oh, hi, mister. You can join me, mister. Um, it's Mr. Rabbit Ears. I've had him since I was four. Um, my favorite stuffed animal as a kid has to still protect me in my house. Anyway, um, yeah, my ADHD is going off the charts today. Apologies. Um, so what I mean by balanced clothes and trying to go back up layers is, for instance, I have a large number of boot shirts. For instance, this one. Uh, this actually doesn't quite fit me properly anymore. It's very slightly too small, unless if I really want to bear my midriff because my stomach's a little too large. But... Um, I keep spinning. I apologize. Again, it's... can't focus on anything. Um, I have far more shirts than I do pretty much anything else in my wardrobe. 
so I have to wash, wash say, for instance, pants three or four times before I even need to start washing my shirts. What I want to try to do is balance my wardrobe better, where I don't necessarily need a huge amount of things, like I have shirts, although most of them don't fit anymore. Um, I just need to... My goal is to have enough clothes where I do not need to wash clothes for a week. Um, and that is all types of clothes. So under things, pants, shorts, t-shirts, layers, and so on. Um, since top layer things, like for instance jackets or hoodies or anything like that, don't need to be washed as often because they're not in contact with your skin usually, I don't need as many of those as I do need, say for instance, pairs of socks, which... Frequently, I need more than one pair of socks in a day, depending on what I'm doing that day, especially if I'm traveling. So that's what I mean by balance, is get the correct ratios. And I do this every so often so I can bring things back up. Um, socks are usually the notorious one for me because I wear through them very quickly. Pants are the other one because, again, with the way my build works, I tend to wear holes through long pants. So, like, at the moment, I think I have three pairs of long pants. That's not ratio balanced at all. Um, but anyway, I've been going through trying to figure out what things do I want to keep versus what things do I want to get rid of. For instance, that's a TV there. The TV's not coming with me because that doesn't make any sense. It's a cheap, relatively cheap TV. I, this was my work monitor back when I was working, and I've just put it in here because, I don't know, sometimes I just feel like laying down and watching things when I'm not feeling great, so I can lay down and watch, watch things. The kitty, on the other hand, is definitely coming with me. All of my cats will be coming with me. Um, there's still a question as to whether Boo is coming with me. That's because my housemate and I talked way back when that if he had left the house, he was probably going to take Boo with him because Boo is attached to both of us, not just me. And it would be much easier if I only had two cats. Having said that, that was seven years ago that we discussed this, and Boo is significantly more attached to me now. So I'm not sure whether Boo will be coming with me. I'm currently assuming the answer is yes. But anyway, um, kitties definitely coming with me. Stuffed animal coming with me. Spare sheets not coming with me. You know, stuff like that. And that cat tree is not coming with me because this thing is huge and is um, a little worn out. I mean, this is zone. I mean, this cat tree has been in Zone's room the almost the entire time. Um, this is Zone's cat tree. It has Zone's scent to it. While this would be nice to bring with me ahead of time, a la to make sure that there's smells in whatever place I move into where the cats don't think that they're... Well, they're going to be freaking out anyway because they will have been traveling for 18 hours, but where the cats don't think it's a temporary setup type of thing. They'll actually have smells in the house already. That's the intent. But this cat tree, I don't think this cat tree should come with me. The cat furniture I have, so for instance, let me go out of my bedroom and show this. Why, hello there. Um, this cat fireman's pole, this is coming with me. Um, mostly because, one, it has both Isin and Zun smells on it even though it's a little damaged up here, there. Gee, I wonder why. It's just burlap. Um, but more importantly, too, this thing is extremely expensive. I mean, it's very, very solid. I could probably, I mean, if there was enough height, obviously, it's pretty close to the ceiling, but if there was enough height, I could probably stand on it. I'm gonna close the door as soon, okay? Sun kitty's out and about. Or I guess I can try to see what would happen if they interact. Meow. Zone. Be careful, Zone, okay? Yeah. He's trying to hunt. Oh well, Sun's in here now. Sorry, yes, I didn't mean to disturb your rest. I'll swap kitties later. 
Anyway, point is, catfishing pole, very expensive. I, I think I spent 150 on it, and I think now on the same Etsy store page, it's now 450 US. They're handmade. And I have a bunch of cat furniture like this. It's just this pole and in the boo room really fast. That mount up there are the only two things that I actually have up. Everything else is just, I never assembled and attached. Don't really have for, I mean, I could always use more cat furniture, but yeah. So once more, got off subject. Point is, what I've been distracting myself with is just trying to plan what things am I bringing with me? And it's not going to be a whole bunch. Well, relative to how much crap I have in the house, it's not going to be a whole bunch. But relative to how much I would have moved to Norway if I had moved, say, eight years ago, it's a huge amount. Um, whew, the hardest thing is, well, I'm obviously not going to be moving any furniture. That doesn't make any sense. But the harder thing for me is probably going to be Reducing my electronics. Speaking of, I should probably make that laptop video. I guess that might be tomorrow? Don't know. My little video setup. You can see that's actually where my selfie cam is. Going up against my green screen. That during the day, um, it's no longer that early in the day, I actually have to use clips put a t-shirt on the back because the green screen is so thin uh, and there's not enough light behind it right now but you can sort of see my hand going through it well when outside has a very bright light out there that doesn't work very well so yeah um, I used to have a ring light around here but the ring was abs absurdly large yes there's holes in the wall I've had a video on that before so instead I actually use these that actually works fairly well is my view when I'm actually recording. Um, when I'm playing games, I usually have my microphone directly in front of me. Recorded games, that is. I have my microphone directly in front of me. Unfortunately, the little stand is really weak on it. It's actually weaker than my tripod, if you can believe it. Um, along with my lovely keyboard. You'll see some flickering there. That's because it is a strobe-based effect. So um, I explained this during my uh, computer video when it came to fans, but these are PWM lights, so they actually pulse in order to produce a specific brightness. So, and because I'm recording this on a camera that's locked to 60 frames a second, that means that sometimes, during one of the frames, it's actually off. Anyway, um, I have my microphone set up here, I have my kitty here, I have my little cat pedestal right here, that way cats can join me. Um, trackball. Uh, so this is an actually amusing thing. So I had this a while ago, and I'm going to be sending that to my partner because they can use a way of USB-C and USB ports. And I had been looking for a replacement. I got this. I was expecting it to be more like that. This is a USB-C adapter to a whole lot of things. This is useful for my laptops because I have USB-C laptops. I can even plug my phone into it, believe it or not. Anyway, um, otherwise, I have my main gaming monitor here. Uh, I still have Windows up from when I was doing sunglass shopping for my new prescription. Um, so I usually keep multiple web browsers open. At the moment, there's a gap in the middle just because I was watching something full screen on the side. Uh, this is an ultra wide. So where the line is for this browser here is actually where this over to the right is 16 by 9. Anyway, um, this is my standard streaming setup. Um, I have OBS closed at the moment. I'm going to be rebooting my computer first, but usually I'll have game over here since I'm going to be playing XCOM. That's going to be a 2560 by 1440 game. The way I have it hacked is it'll actually appear on this side. So I'll have a little bit of the window over here. And I have my secondary monitor over here where I have Discord up here, email, IRC, you get the idea. My desk surface is a bit on the messy side. Um, the reason why I'm okay with my microphone being here is because for XCOM, I don't really need to type. The only thing I actually need to type when it comes to XCOM is the actual um, 
game save name, believe it or not. So that works. I primarily use my controller, which this is a series controller. Also, you will notice cat hair on every object. Gee, I wonder why. Um, this is an Xbox series controller. You can tell the difference between this and Xbox One controller. Looks like a USB-C port on the back instead of a USB-A. Or mini, uh, micro USB. There we go. Anyway, I prefer this controller anyway, and my previous one broke. I had a uh, analog stick that was just completely broken. That doesn't help when I'm playing games that actually require it. For reference, if anybody is curious, that port on the bottom is actually mini HDMI. It's the same port that my secondary monitor uses right here. So I can actually plug this cable into here. Doesn't do anything because it's just the same connector and the Xbox controller obviously doesn't have video, but you get the idea. Anyway, I'm getting ready for a stream, which will probably have already happened by the time that this goes live. You can see my little camera setup. And actually, let me launch OBS really fast so you can see. Doo, 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 doo. There we go. So I actually have this in my XCOM profile. So what I will end up doing is I will shrink this down, boot over here, covering up my email, like so. I will keep that there. I have my little stream chat over here. I move the stream chat over to here because then I can see it while I'm playing along with the Twitch stats so I can see if there's any viewers and the regular stats screen that tells me when I'm dropping packets. I mean, yes, I could do all of this in a computer recording, but I don't want to. And don't need Spotify open right now. But yeah, I'll have all of that up, and then I will launch XCOM. All right, I actually have to launch that from Steam, which I've exited. I'm not going to worry about that right now. And that's it. He is swishing his tail like crazy. Yep, and he caught his tail. Good job, son. <laughs>